Hi, I'm Tammy Phelps, founder of Capital City React. We touch, we motivate, and inspire all real estate investors. Welcome to my town. Here in the heart of Washington, D.C., real estate is booming. And only miles from the U.S. Capitol, Patty, a Capital City RIA member, found a property to rehab and reposition to sell for a profit. I just acquired a property that was burned down and we are doing a full gut renovation. The property is a 1,193 square foot home with no basement. The house was found on Craigslist. Hey everybody, this is Tammy with Capital City RIA. We're here uh, in Southeast DC for another one of our awesome Rehab Mastermind live events. I know it's really cold, so thank you guys for being here. This is her very first rehab project. How she did it, how she marketed for it, how she made it happen, how she's funding it. You found the property, how? And the way I found the property is through Craigslist. So you found it on Craigslist? Correct. Were you just scrolling through Craigslist or like, give me some more details how you found it on Craigslist. What yeah. were you looking for? I was looking for hopper fixer, rehab. Fixer upper. Mm -hmm. So did you put those keywords into yeah. a search criteria? Yes. On Craigslist? On Craigslist. And, and this property popped up? This property popped up. Were there photos? No. It okay. put, they didn't put a photo. They put no photo to show, probably because of the condition of the property. Okay. There were no photo originally. Okay. I contacted the agent first. I spoke with him a little bit getting an address and do some due diligence myself before physically coming here. Okay. So will you please repeat what you bought the property for? 124. 124,000 off of Craigslist. How much is your rehab budget? 90,000. 90,000 full gut rehab. And that property down there that is painted was under contract in two days for 350,000. <laughs> yes, ma'am. It's DC. It's DC. What the original asking price was 151. 151,000 listed on Craigslist. And then in November, she came to Capital City Ria and got into the hot seat. We gave her some creative strategies for negotiating. She actually took what we said, went back to the seller and renegotiated another 8,000 off of her already contracted sales price. So we call it the $8,000 hot seat, <laughs> right? She saved 8,000. So with hold costs and everything else, what are, what are you guesstimating your potential profit to be? Between Probably 60, 70. So somewhere between 60 to 70,000 is a profit, okay, that she's anticipating on this property. Is that fair and reasonable and safe to take something on like this? Yes. If it was a $20,000 profit margin on your first property and it's a burnout gut, would you take it on? No. 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 But we see 20,000 profit, it's DC, we get excited about it, we jump into it, and then all of a sudden your spreads are gone. And you're, in, you're losing money. That's not why we rehab, that's not why we invest. That is why we are here today. How often as a rehabber, you mean an investor, would Patty come back to check on the property? How many, uh, how often do you think she should come back and check on the property? Daily. Huh? Daily. Daily? Patty, how often are you checking on the contractor and the guys? For now, because there's maybe not too many things going on, I plan on coming once or twice a week. Once or twice a week. How many of you feel she needs to be here every day? Absolutely. Because you're learning and you need to see what's going on. Do we ever tell our GCs exactly what time we're going to show up? No. Nope. They never know when we're going to show up. Never. Everything's spotless if, they do, if you do. You'll not see a lot if they do. I'm not saying this is every GC. I'm just saying this is most. Come on up. Guys, this is Nathaniel. He's actually the licensed general contractor on this property. This property to me, I do this every day, so it's not a big thing for me. 
I look at it, I can turn around three to maybe six weeks. Depends on the problem, this is how it's seasoned, the weather's bad. So you're saying that a property like this that's a burnout, you could turn in three weeks? Three to six weeks. There's no way. There's no way. No way. I get permission one day. Yeah. You can get permits on one day with the square footage. 1,200 square feet. No way. Not yeah. in DC. Yeah. Well, I got a bill permit. Well, I can tell you real quick. This okay. Yeah. The the average the average turnaround on this size property is probably uh, six to eight weeks, and I would add it. Three to six weeks. That's all said. No, I. Depends on the weather. Yeah, there's, you know, six, I would say six to eight weeks. That's what I said, six okay. to eight weeks, and then you have another four-week buffer for contingencies and utilities. Well, so my main thing is, see, I got, we got eight people here working. You, uh, have, eight, you have eight people. Yeah. Shh, guys, let's, eight, eight shh. Here working. So you have a crew of eight guys yeah. here working. Yeah. That does, yeah. that does help speed things yeah, up. Speed things okay, up. okay. So, awesome. So, what is it that you, how, let me ask you this, let me back up. When did you break ground? We really started about a week ago. About one week ago. So you're in demo right now. Yes. You already have pulled your demo permit. Yeah, we have that. We're just stuck on the door. The uh, building permit's on the door now. The demo's been pulled. Building permit. The electrician comes. What's coming today? So I went to electric upstairs, but we didn't expect this. Okay, so when we start a rehab, what is the first phase? Like, who, who comes in first after demo? Well, after demo, we, we uh, I bring in the, uh, the framing and the plumbing guy. So after demo, we bring in framing and plumbing. So these are the phases that we're talking about. We don't, we can't have everybody here simultaneously, right? Correct. Well, actually, here I have them in stages. We'll start the stairs. We frame it out. Then the plumbers coming. Uh, the electricians coming today, and we move downstairs probably Tuesday, and I would move them downstairs. Okay. But upstairs, the electricians will be working today, and the plumber will be doing the plumbing. Working. So you yeah. have them but this is a little staggered. Hassle. I have to get out real quickly. Right, that's, that's correct. That's what I'm doing. That's what I said three to six weeks. Okay. I have a plan how I'm going to do this. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. I can't wait to come back in three weeks. <laughs> and so... Um, and, and, and I had the roof here. There was no, there was no porch on the house. We had the porch in, in, what, four hours? So, so guys, guys, shh, So there was no porch here at all. No. So this porch was built in four hours. He's got a crew of eight guys. He says he's going to get it done in three to six weeks. Now, if he can get it done in three to six weeks and the six week mark rolls around and he's not anywhere near done, what do you do? You revert back to your contract to see what the penalties and what the what is going on in that contract for when the property was supposed to be turned over turnkey. What is the date this property is supposed to be turned over? Well, actually, it was scheduled to be um, um, February the 20th, but February the 20th. But all the things that happen slows up. Even today slows up. That's correct. So, you know. I slowed you up and yeah. I told, hey, <laughs> and I told you, I, I got your back, right? Yeah. I got your so, back. And all the things happened um, that's right. a few days ago, it slows up three days. So, that's right. But, you know, so. And that's where that three to six week comes in, yeah. right? Because stuff is going to happen, guys. So hold on, hold on one second. And, and not the contractor's fault. Uh, right. Yeah. And, but sometimes it is the contractor's it fault. Is, yeah, yeah. Sometimes it is, and yeah. sometimes it's not. I'm so sorry, in your, in yeah. your contract that you use, is there a penalty clause of a per day DM mm -hmm. if the work is not done? Yeah. What is that? $500 a day. 500 a day? Can I make a... Hold on, guys. Hold on. Hold on. Can I please make a recommendation? Go ahead. That's excessive. Okay. Okay. That's, that's actually not fair to him. Okay. $500 a day could bankrupt him. What the average is, so you know, and you know, is 50 to $100 per day penalty okay for the date that the project goes over that is not contingent upon other factors happening i would highly recommend for both of you you don't have to that you revise that because a 500 dollars per day uh, penalty to him means that this may be the only project that he would ever do with you do you know what I, do you know what i'm saying yeah i want to add something it's it will happen if it's really his fault. 
like you you I, I show up here and you know doing any work it's a week and I don't see nothing happening but I wouldn't charge $500 a day if there is many other factor independent of him I still think it's excessive it's still okay what do you guys think yeah. it's very excessive yeah. are there any GC's here guys any GC's other other than Nathaniel is 500 excessive what yeah what would you about a hundred dollars a hundred dollars a day would it be fair that we can come back in six weeks and oh, yeah, see the finished that, product that's fine, yeah. okay Please do. We only do things the right way, the documented way, and we don't say, oh, they'll never know. You know, let's just cover this up. Nobody will ever, no, 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 no. What? The neighbors are called. The neighbors will rat you out. That's right. Every time. The reason for my question is because um, what I've seen in working with a lot of investors is that they do rely on their contractors, but they also need to be educated themselves because so much of your scope, your time, and your money is wrapped up in this process. Absolutely. And that is one of, what is your name? Nicole. Nicole. What do you do? I'm a permit expediter. Ha! Oh. <laughs> Nicole, come on up. Here. Oh, nice to meet thank you. you. Thank you for thank coming you. up. What's your last name? Alan. All Nicole right, this Allen. is Nicole Allen, everybody. Hi, Nicole. I don't know Nicole. I just met Nicole. All right. But Nicole asked some questions that made me start thinking I need to find out what she does, right? <laughs> right. She's a permit expediter, so thanks for jumping up here. No anybody problem. know what a permit expediter is? Yes. Anybody, yes. anybody not know what a permit expediter is? What? All right, please speak <laughs> loudly. What do you do and why do you do what you do? Well, I work with investors to help them through all the regulatory requirements that DC, PG, any county in Maryland requires in order for you to expedite your building permits, uh, electrical permits. I also do third party inspections. So we really work with investors to help them through that regulatory process to get things done on time, on budget, and code compliant. How about if we interview her? Yeah. How about if we bring her into Capital City Re and put her in the hot seat? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Would you be would you be, I would love would it. Would you be willing to put your buns up in a hot seat? I would. Woo. I would. I'm all here right. to learn and to be educated awesome. just like all of you. So, so as a permit expediter, can you imagine having all those clients right there? No, my heart is ah. beating. I would love that. I would love that. This is why we do these types of events, right? What we're networking. We're 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 working with like-minded individuals. And it's really freaking awesome to have somebody like this that shows up, that cares, and that actually is working for us, that is looking out for our best interest. I was just getting ready to say, I feel you should do everything once so you understand the process. We take somebody like this and we say, I'm not paying for a permit expediter. I can do it myself until you do it. And you've just now spent five weeks of your life trying to figure it out and do it and you've wasted all that money and time when you could have hired someone like this to get it done for you while you're doing what is called highest and best use HB right highest and best use of your time you don't need to be worrying about how to create LLC's and business cards and the colors of the font <laughs> and you know what what logo you're going to use that will all come in time that's the busy stuff and that's what we all do is get caught up in that what is the highest and best use of your time finding deals, yeah. finding deals yeah. analyzing <laughs> deals driving neighborhoods talking to neighbors finding out what is going on taking somebody like this on the you know talking to her on the phone going to networking events, going to Capital City Re events, going to all of the other types of Re events. Even if you've heard the presenter eight times, I don't care. You're not there necessarily to hear the presenter. What are you there to do? Network. 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 Yeah. This is relationships, guys. Mm -hmm. Did we all not just make an amazing relationship right here? Yes. Yeah. yeah. And you can't have her. <laughs> <laughs> How many bedrooms? Three bedrooms, two and a half bath. Okay, that's what the finished product is gonna be. This is a construction site. There is glass, there is debris, 
and there's not a dumpster out back yet. It is full. That whole back area is full of trash. Please enter at your own risk. Take a look around, ask questions. I really am so excited that you guys are here. Patty took a risk, and after meeting with the seller, she negotiated the price terms to benefit both parties. During a Capital City RIA meeting hot seat segment, the questions and recommendations were able to ultimately earn her an extra $8,000 discount on the sales price. Patty now calls it the $8,000 hot seat. Capital City RIA is the leading real estate investors association in Washington, D.C., Maryland, and Virginia. Capital City RIA supports all investors on their journey to create financial freedom and real wealth through real estate investing. Welcome to my town.